All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we're looking at a new pot. Oh my God, Konami, you and just making pot. I swear to Christ. So last time you made a pot card, you thought, all right, pot of cupidity, you know, banish 10 off the top of your deck, you know, and uh, draw two, no restrictions. And everybody thought, no, no one's going to do that. And look at OCG, everybody and their mother is doing that. So yeah, the, what are you doing this time? What are you doing this time? So this is pot of... Advidity, it's really ugly. Like, uh, like I mean, uh, n none of the pots have been very attractive looking, but I mean, the gray coloring and just the look on its face, it's just ugly. It's just an ugly card, but you know, I don't care how ugly my card is, as long as it puts in that work, that's all that matters. So, this card is actually a quick play spell. Interesting, interesting. You don't see pots generally being quick play spells, and you know, quick play spells are one of the strongest type of cards you can have. You know, it's, I'd say it's a little bit strong in the trap, you know. Uh, of course, counter traps, they're like, hey, I'm supposed to be three, so come fuck with me. But, you know, quick play spells, they can be like spells, it can be like traps, they can, you know, there's no complaint. When you see, like, you know, for example, like Twin Twisters MST, I mean, you can't even hold a candle to them in comparison to, you know, something like Galaxy.com because it's just not fast enough. So, this being a quick play spell card, pot card? Interesting, interesting. It's a simple card. Target three banished monsters. Shuffle all three back into the deck, then draw one card i know you were hoping maybe you were like please two please two so it could be like a you know an awesome pot of avarice pot of greed no 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 you don't even know you know uh you can only have to make one pot of avidity once per turn that's not terrible you know it's not terrible i can i can think of a couple decks that might want to go ahead and uh, actually use this card there's no restrictions there's no uh punishment there's no nothing you just go ahead target through banish shuffle them back draw one card you even out you know uh, quick play spell card, I think it maybe has a little bit of influence from Burial, because the whole take three from your banished, and instead of putting them back to your graveyard, which, I mean, come on, Burial is still limited to one, so, take three of your banished, and instead of putting them back to your, to your graveyard, you put them back to your deck, and you draw one, so, Burial, that's an egg, you know, you play it, you go ahead and put them back to your graveyard, that's a unique. Well, this, you at least even out, but, the problem is, is that you're putting these monsters from pretty much... A bad place, which is banished, because generally, unless you're a particular deck that likes to deal with banished, banished in your cards, it's kind of like a no-touchy zone in Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, I, I, you know, I, I'm gonna get off topic. Why on our mats do we not have, like, a space to put our banished cards? Like, I've always wondered that. We got a pendulum scale, we got an extra deck, we, you know, we got, we got a graveyard, we got... <laughs> but, there's no place to put your banished, you just kind of put it there, you know? You just find a place on your mat or when you're doing your opponent, find a place somewhere to put your banished card, you know? It's really weird. It's really weird that there's just no actual set banished zone when, you know, I'd say there's a nice... I, I'd say that the, the, enough of the mechanic of banishing, you know, at least maybe like 10 to 20% of the game where it's like, hey, you know, maybe you want to go ahead and banish. Maybe we should put a zone on here. I thought maybe they were putting on it when they adjusted the mat and they put like the pendulum scales. Like, all right, awesome. You know, I thought that maybe you could, like, well, this is the, hear me out here. You know, your fill spell zone, that's, eh, you know, you could probably put that at the banner zone and then your fill spell could be like at the top of the mat, like, to, at, like you're looking at your mat like square maybe horizontal at the top of the mat that way you put it at the center of the mat between you and your opponent bam there's the field spell this is my field your field spell bam there's your field right there at the top of the mat right in front of the monsters and then th what the old field spell area would be would be the new banish that way you would have an actual place to put your damn banish card anyway uh, that was that was a, that was a weird rant <laughs> uh you're taking these Banish monsters, which is not the greatest place, and then you put them back into your deck, which is also not a great place. Like, if there's any, generally, when it comes to getting rid of your opponent's monsters, what are the two places you want to get them, get rid of them? You either want to banish their, monst their monsters, or you want to send them back to the deck. So you're pretty much taking them from one place to another place, which is really just kind of meh. You know, it's really just kind of meh, but at least you get to even out, and you, you know, of course, you get to use your monsters again. Uh, this, of course, does not count as resources. Monsters banished don't count as resources. Monsters back to your deck don't count as resources. And while technically burial with monsters go from your banished back to your graveyard don't count as it, generally decks that play it will get to go ahead and reuse those monsters. Uh, you don't see just burial being thrown in any deck, but just that generally will take advantage of the fact that, hey, my monsters are back in the graveyard, whether that be Infernoids or whether that be something PK related. But this, like I said, you take three of your banished Infernoids, shuffle them back, draw a card, and 
you know, you got to remill them or do whatever with them because they're back in the deck. You know, same thing with uh, with your PK monsters. You know, just go ahead and take you know your your boots and your cloak and shuffle them back into the deck. You gotta you gotta get them back. You know, they're out of the game. They're still pretty much out of the game from being banished back to the deck. They're still out of the game. So it's not a terrible card. You know, uh, maybe possibly see this played in decks that actually want to do shit like that. Like I said, Inferno with PK. Maybe something with Ritual Beast might be good, but. Uh, is it a bad card? No. Is it, you know, super OP? No. It, no. Will you see play? Maybe. Depends on the deck and how many, and, you know, how many uh, copies is people want to play, you know? Uh, I don't see, definitely don't see three, because that could be very cloggy, because, of course, you have to have your three banished. I mean, not even Infernoids. Maybe, maybe Infernoids, but still, you know, still, you know, I think they'd rather go ahead and play something like that, uh, that, um, that big card and go ahead and put the banished cards back to the graveyard then shuffle them back into the deck. So I don't know. I don't know. But there's not too many decks that go that fast, banish it. Where you want to run three copies? Maybe two? Maybe two? But three seems clocky. Because remember, you could dead draw this early game terribly bad. Like, oh, well, I don't have three banished monsters, so I guess I'm not playing this part of the video yet. So that's kind of a dead draw until its availability. And, you, you know, you're only even out. Like, maybe you have one incentive. Maybe if you drew two cards and it was like a plus one, like Pot of Greed or, uh, you know, uh, Pot of Avarice, then, you know, maybe Kasaka, no, nope, just even out, just one for one, and then you put your monsters back, so. Alright, that's pretty much all I had to say about this card, so, it's not terrible, it's just, um, you know, only particular decks will play it, and only particular times, really situational, so, you know, but about, uh, Banish is a very situational place, even with Cosmos, it's like, yeah, I, I, I could take my Cosmos that are Banished and shuffle them back in my deck and draw a card, or I could just get them back with Cosmo Town, like, from my Banish to my hand. Well, that's much better. It's much better. <laughs> so. so, tell me what you guys think about Pot of Avidity in the comment section, comment section below. Tell me what decks you would like to see it being played in and how many of it. But, yeah, just, once again, another pot card. Just, how do they come up with these designs for this art, though? Like, what, what do you, like, you, Konami, you must be, that must be, like, one of your co-workers, someone's uh, co-worker, and then they say, like, stand still, let me let me draw your face. All right, this is what you look like, you know? You look like this. So that's an insult, but, all right, we're done. Thanks for watching, thanks for our support, and, of course, I will be back Wednesday with another card to look at. All right, people, thanks for watching.